who is watching uh, this program, God remember them wherever they may be. If you're just checking in this time, so that they may watch the ceremony that you are proclaiming through me. Amen. And today, we'll talk about uh, something that will build your life. I entitled the message that the Lord want me to tell you that uh, go and tell them. Go and tell them. If you have got nothing to tell them, be quiet. If you have got nothing to tell them, nobody will get you. Nobody will understand them. Go and tell them. You need to go and tell them. The Bible says that Exodus 3, uh, beginning from 1, this was a time when uh, Moses was keeping the sheep of his father-in-law Jethro at a certain place. As he went, one day went to a far place where he saw the Lord in the burning bush. Then he, the Lord said that Moses take off the sandals for the place where you are standing is the holy ground. And they began to uh, discuss with the Lord. And Moses reached at the extent of asking God that if uh, they asked me who sent you or what is the name of the God who appeared to you, what should I say? God told them that go and tell them that I am the I am is the one who fulfilled himself in uh, 28 verse 58 he said that before Abraham was the I am meaning I'm the one who was before Abraham so go and tell them if you have got nothing to tell Pharaoh nothing will happen if you have got nothing to tell the people nothing will, will happen so go and tell them why do you have to tell the people Romans 10 verse 17, the Bible says that faith comes by hearing, and if they cannot hear, if there's nobody to tell them, so you go, you have to go and tell them. Don't tell them anything. Don't tell them uh, anything that you may think of, but tell them the good news. Tell them the gospel. Go and tell them. God has sent me today to tell you. Uh, John the Baptist, as he was in prison, the Bible said that he sent his disciples to Jesus and said that, are you the one, or should we expect another one? Then Jesus replied and said, go and tell him, Go and tell John that lame people are walking, dead people are coming back to life, and uh, uh, blind people are seeing. Go and tell them that the sick are being healed. Go and tell them. You have to go and tell them. When Jesus was departing from the world, the Bible says in Matthew 28, beginning from 18 to 20, on 18 he said that all authorities on in heaven and on earth has been given unto me. So go and make disciples of all the nations and tell them, and tell them to observe everything that I've commanded you, uh, and what I've commanded you. So you need to go and tell them, go and tell Judas Cariot, so that he may, he may not hang himself. Tell them, tell them. The Bible said that they went to the message, uh, they went to with the message of God, with the word of God at the church, at the beautiful gate in Luca, in, in Acts 3. They reached a place, and that person was expecting to get something from them. Acts 3 verse 6, they told, he was told that, wow, we, don't, we do not have Zoom and God. What we have is a message with the Lord, and sent us to tell you today, rise up and walk in the mighty name of Jesus. 25 verse 6, uh, Jesus said, do you want to get well? He was asking that person who spent it eight years at the pool beside on the side he said pick up your mat and walk the way he told you the way he was told the bible said that beauty so you need to go and tell them go and tell them about the lord go and tell them about what he's doing in your life go and tell them about the miraculous go and tell them about what is happening some people Jesus could not tell, some people Jesus uh, did not allow them to follow him. Why he wanted them to go and tell the story. So we have to tell the world. We have to tell every person. Samson was, ar Samson was arrested because of the mistake he made. He doesn't say, uh, he seemed the strength, he made a mistake. But when he, he wanted to be balanced by other people, by the physician, the Bible says that he began to tell them about the God. He said that God, remember me in this time. I want these foolish people to know. I want these uncircumcised to know. So you need to go and tell them, my brother. Go and tell them. Without the way, nothing can happen. Jesus, a God, in the beginning, he told the sun to appear. He told the light to appear. And the light appeared. So if you cannot tell them, they cannot appear. You need to tell them. You need to tell them. You need to tell them. First Kings 3 verse 19, the Bible talks about the, the story of uh, King Solomon and those uh, two women who brought the, the case before Solomon. They brought the, the case. Everybody was claiming that it is my child, it is my child. But uh, Solomon told them the wisdom that uh, told them the wisdom that made him to recognize the mother, the real mother. So you cannot recognize if you cannot tell them. Go and tell them, my brother. You have to tell them. 
that you have got the power, Elisha. When those uh, young boys, the 42 young boys are laughing at you, you have to tell them that you have got the God of Elijah as you did when you, when you are coming back. You have to tell them by uh, commanding uh, the bears to come out of the forest and tear them in pieces. You have to tell them that you are God. Jesus, as he was dying, he told them that I'm God. He said that today I'm going to be with you in paradise. There will be no protocol, there will be no protocol to be observed. You, you need to go and tell them. I'm the journalist of God. So I have to tell the world what is happening in the realm. I have to tell the world what is to come. You have to tell them. Johnny received, John the Revelator, received the message of the Lord in Revelation and was taught that he should tell the seven churches. So if you are among the churches which the Lord has sent me to, to, to tell you today, you have to share the message as well. Tell every person about the end of the world. Tell every person about the signs which the Lord Jesus left, that when you see these signs, we have to know that the end is near. Jonah, if you cannot tell them, then God will appoint the fish to, uh, to, to, to swallow you. When you decide, even in the belly, you can decide. As you'll be deciding uh, that you are going to Nineveh, then God will, will, will tell the fish to vomit you. You have to go and tell them. You may be a dog, Spirit, spiritually, physically, you're a person. Even dogs can speak. In Numbers 22, verse 22, God gave a speech to the dog. You need to tell them. You need to tell them so that you may be saved. Tell them so that you may be saved. Rabu, tell them so that you may be saved. You need to tell them that my song, Jericho, can fall. You need to tell them, my brother. Tell them because time is ticking. You need to tell them. Whosoever is not believing, is not believing because you are quiet. Remember, they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the weight of their testimony. So if you are got the testimony, somebody's going to repent. Tell them, my brother, and what I've come to tell you is this. Repent before the time is over. Repent. Repent. For the Lord Jesus appears. Uh, when he appears, there will be no mess. I've come to tell you that. Uh, he said, go to the strategy. In the last days, you're going to pull out his, his spirit on every flesh. You are among the flesh. Be among the flesh. Which the Lord Jesus said. You can silence the devil by recognizing yourself. You have to go and tell them. So, you have to go and tell them the good news not to persecute the churches. Go to Ananias. He will tell you what you have to do. You are doing the wrong things. The church has to tell the nation that they have the power. I pray for Peter so that he may, he may be released. God bless you. But you have to share, subscribe, and tell other people about the Lord Jesus Christ. If you have not yet received Jesus, you can repeat after me. Wherever you may be, it is not a forcing matter. Maybe you, you, you can receive Jesus after this ceremony when Jesus appears. So say, Lord Jesus, come into my hand.